On this episode of Inside the Blueprint, we're hitting the road in search of the most innovative influencers, the most daring in design, and the coolest in commercial construction. In the market for air compressors that are so dynamic and efficient, they're used by the folks at NASA, Quincy is the only name you need to know. Looking for commercial or residential air conditioning that's both energy and cost efficient? Mitsubishi can help you cool things off. When you hear the name Firestone, you probably think of tires. If so, think again. They're an industry leader in roofing and building solutions as well. Accessibility is important, especially in the construction business, where cranes and lifts are an everyday necessity. After 50 years in the business, JLG Industries knows accessible equipment. in Hagerstown, Maryland, visiting the headquarters of JLG Industries, celebrating its 50th anniversary this year. JLG is dedicated to creating a better way to work at height. JLG is the world's leader in the design and manufacture of access equipment. We make all kinds of construction equipment which keep people safe and productive at height. Formed in 1969, JLG pioneered the access industry from its early beginnings by manufacturing the first aerial work platform. John L. Grove founded the company in a little mountain community called McConnellsburg in, in 1969 with just himself and, and three small investors. They would soon transform the construction equipment industry with the introduction of the world's first aerial work platform. He was passionate about innovation, passionate about keeping people safe, and since then uh, the company has grown to now over 6,000 people. He was all about understanding the unmet needs of the customers. One of the secrets of JLG success is that they focus on customer first and foremost. Yeah, they are the three years. The customer is at the center of how we think about all problems when it comes to developing products. It's about making sure that they have the right training tools to use the product effectively. So all those things are key to our innovation process, what we again call customer-inspired innovation. We are confident that that's gonna allow us to remain number one uh, market leader in this space for the next 50 years. A spirit of pioneering that has constantly pushed the boundaries in the access industry. As an example, the 1850 SJ was introduced in 2014 and remains the largest self-propelled boom lift in the world. We've been first industry in area work platforms, but that's not all that we do. We now have a full line of electric scissor lifts, hydraulic scissor lifts, telescopic material handlers and, and verticals. And most recently, we're introducing a line of low-level access, which we believe will be a safer alternative to the conventional ladder. We're now in McConnellsburg, Pennsylvania, where JLG University offers training for operators on how the equipment works and how it can keep them safe. We have uh, the operator training, which is train the trainer, and you know, how do we operate the machines. And then the service training is uh, how do any of these machines work. The training center really provides hands-on for those trainers that want to come in. The more people we can train in this industry by whatever means makes the industry safer and stronger. We offer all kinds of courses online, and increasingly we are offering those courses in a virtual reality in an augmented reality setting that allows our operators to learn those things at their own pace. We were the first of the industry with, with this, uh, this type of training, but it, the people get in the virtual reality and they operate the machine just as if they were in a construction site. It, it's, it's a powerful training tool that, that I think is really the future. JLG University offers Access Ready as part of its Train the Trainer program. It's another innovation really where Access Ready is a portal for operators to get training and then they can join on that website and it advertises their ability to train operators for the world. JLG is a global company with offices in five different continents. 
Part of this success is due to a nature of innovation and excellence in the manufacturing of their products. Today, we have factories around the world uh, employing over 6,000 people. So we are really a truly global company serving our global customers. We continue to look for ways to leverage connected machines and IoT, one of which is the iPhone that we now can control the scissors remotely. Uh, JLG was the first in the industry to offer a SkyGuard solution which allows people to work at height and when they come in, in contact with an obstacle, the SkyGuard function allows for reversing of the, the machine. So we'll continue to add more and more products that will increase the safety of our machines. Having started as an industry pioneer on its 50th anniversary, JLG Industry remains a leader thanks to a culture of innovation. We listen to our customers, we understand what their struggles are, what their unmet needs are, and that really motivates us and inspires us to develop solutions for them to keep, us, keep them safe and keep them productive. Business, success, and the safety of our customers remain our number one priority. And one thing I can tell you for sure is that you will always see JLG at the forefront of access innovation. For more information, visit JLG.com or InsideTheBlueprint.com. Compressed air and gas create an amazing world. So on this episode of Inside the Blueprint, we'll visit Quincy Compressor, a company transforming crucial technologies ultimately responsible for the rapid expansion of industrialization on a universal scale. Well known for their uncompromising reliability, Quincy's innovation can help you run a better business in any industry, delivering performance you demand, reliability you trust. When Quincy Compressor started back in uh, 1920, there was a lot of heavy and dirty industry compared to what you see today. The conditions were way worse. They were hot, they, there was terrible contaminants in the air. It, it was just a miserable place for a, a piece of machinery to work. So most of the machines that you would buy from any manufacturer would last a relatively short period of time. And that's where the Quincy Compressor guys saw their opportunity. They built a machine that was so durable so well built, uh, was so over engineered, you basically couldn't break the machine, it was indestructible. So they went to these most challenging applications, agriculture, shipping, oil and gas exploration, and they carved out a strong niche for themselves initially in those tough industries. And uh, over the years, of course, the products have been renewed, they've been refreshed, new technology has been added, but fundamentally, the philosophy of reliability first has not changed. We really like to fall in love with problems. So rather than getting all seduced by a new technology and trying to design a machine around it, we try and start from the point of view of an issue, a problem, a challenge that somebody faces and work it from that angle. Yeah, Scott came to us and said, hey, we want to take this compressor and, and put it outside. And I was like, well, Scott, that's really not where it's supposed to go. So. We, uh, we went and engineered a solution that we feel like is able to deliver a product that's unique on the market where the, the product has the cooling, it has the efficiency, the variable speed drive. That product is able to survive in an environment that sets it apart in the market in a way that no other product can. Our customers you know, take a lot of our core technology and apply it to their needs, and there is a huge range of where you see air compressors used today. We have higher pressure applications, which are very specific, and then we have oil-free, where air quality is absolutely essential. And we offer all of those solutions. So yeah, we see a lot of our technology in uh, some of the leading companies, uh, some of which are doing space exploration. Even some of our vacuum systems are used on some of the newer uh, applications and technologies that are being tested out today.
So a good part of what we do is to stay in tune with customers' businesses and the things that they are trying to achieve for their customers. When we see that more and more industries are looking at innovating the way they provide services to their customers, the way they interact with customers, we're looking at doing the same. Innovation is important because business is moving faster. It's a global market. People are looking everywhere for the latest products and the latest designs and the newest innovations. And in order to stay ahead of the curve and to be attractive to our customers, then we need to stay ahead and uh, also innovate. We also have cellular monitoring, which we call icons. When it's transmitting service information, when is your service due? It's transmitting uh, emergency shutdowns or warnings. Quite often, we're getting the alerts before our customers. It's not uncommon that we'll call our customers and inform them that their compressor's down and they won't even know. Real-time information is helping our customers to take faster, more effective control of their air systems. A lot of our time is spent going to customer sites, asking them lots of questions and finding out what they struggle with, what's going to make their business better, how can we contribute to them being more successful. Our innovation strategy is entirely focused on our customers. Once there's a customer demand or a need, then we know there's a business case, then we know there's a real opportunity. So then we take those customer demands and we bring them into the project team, into R&D, and we put them through a, a very extensive testing cycle so that by the time we get done with that project, that innovation is bulletproof. It's been thoroughly tested and it is ready for those customer applications. From the moment we design the equipment, how we service it, how we monitor and keep connected to customers. We are trying to get customers to get the most out of their equipment and continue to increase the profitability in their business. We offer a 24-hour service that anyone, anywhere, anytime can call Quincy Compressor if they have a problem with their compressor and we will respond. We want to be there as a trusted advisor to support them and provide solutions for them as long as the life of their compressor. Not every person needs the same thing as everyone else. So we really try to come to market with a tough, tougher, and toughest product offering. So there is a good, better, and best solution for every single customer need that's out there. At the heart of Quincy Compressor is a strong notion and belief that we make the country's finest, most reliable, most durable, and best warranted compressor. Mitsubishi will be celebrating their 100-year anniversary in 2020. Their history in the U.S. started in 1982 with the first ductless systems. Our partnership with Train allows us to take this great technology to a much wider audience. To every architect, builder, owner, mechanical engineer, all of the folks in the construction trades that may be vaguely familiar with this product, we've now got a channel to bring these solutions to them personally. One of the things about VRF technology in the City Multi product is that it's very energy efficient and that really what that does is it helps the environment because you're not using so much energy to heat or cool a building and it's really a, a big uh, savings for the building owner as well. Mitsubishi VRF products are installed in some of the most energy efficient buildings in the world. We commissioned the house at Cornell University on Roosevelt Island two years ago. It's the tallest passive house in North America and it contains VRF equipment throughout, giving each occupant their own comfort conditions while saving tremendous amounts of energy in the process.
Mitsubishi systems are all about adding versatility and control. The technology of Mitsubishi products is extremely efficient. It requires minimal ductwork, saving on space and time of installation, and it's environmentally friendly. VRF technology in City Multi has grown at double digit rates in the US market. It's a very uh, new technology compared to some of the traditional products that are in the United States, but this product has really made a huge impact and we've had double digit growth over the course of the past 16, 17 years. We visited their headquarters in Suwannee, Georgia, which is a symbol of their massive inventory ready for their customers. Our history in the U.S. started in 1982 when we brought the first ductless units here. We've been continuously in the U.S. market since that time, the only manufacturer to have that length of experience. And we've also expanded our product line dramatically. Mitsubishi has been selling VRF since 2002, and since 2012, we've been designing products right here out of our Atlanta location. One of the most significant advancements we've made in heat pump technology is we have patented technology that allows our heat pumps to be applied in northern climates. Even just 10 years ago, heat pumps couldn't be applied very effectively in northern climates because they couldn't provide reliable heat when the temperature got below 20 or 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Our technology can be applied and our systems can provide reliable heat when the temperature is as low as minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit. The future of Mitsubishi. I think some of the things in the future for Mitsubishi Electric is they're always focusing on providing comfort, personal comfort for people, but also being virally responsible to the environment. So their, their goal is to reduce the carbon footprint in the world, and that's what one of the things they do by developing very, very high efficient products and are always looking in that direction with the business. There's a major movement going on in the United States called electrification, where many cities are banding together to eliminate the burning of fossil fuels for a heating source in their city. And the only reliable way really to replace burning of fossil fuels is with a super efficient heat pump, which we make. Rather than burning fossil fuels in a building to directly create heat, our systems are all electric, so they can replace a traditional fossil fuel burning system and only use electricity and use it in a very efficient manner. Even as we launch our in-generation City Multi VRF outdoor units, Mitsubishi is actively researching and working on the next generation of products to anticipate and address the needs of the U.S. market for the years to come. The future for Mitsubishi Electric Train is extremely bright. Our products are being adopted in more and more applications and with our joint venture with Train, we now have a channel to market with their distribution and sales network to reach almost any application in the United States. Welcome to Firestone Building Products. Come on, let me show you around. Firestone Building Products is committed to delivering innovative solutions that address customer pain points in the industry. The dependability of our products is really signified by our brand promise, nobody covers you better. Our product portfolio is broad, provides a breadth of coverage that allows you, as a building owner or a roofing contractor, to be able to select the right product for the environment you're working in. Firestone Building Products is part of the legacy of Harvey Firestone. In fact, Harvey is best known as the founder of Firestone Tire and Rubber Company, but his legacy extends far beyond rubber. Harvey was at the forefront of the greatest minds of his generation, and his work made significant contributions that still impact us today across mobility, motorsports, retail, agriculture, and infrastructure. Throughout his life, Mr. Firestone remained rooted in delivering innovative products to his customers, providing exceptional customer service, and creating an environment for his team. We're fortunate to be able to build on his legacy today. So our Firestone Building Products employees are at the heart of what we do. From our manufacturing facilities, to our research and development crews, to our field sales teams, and even the teams here in the office. We want to create that environment for a long-lasting, collaborative relationship that goes past the test of time. 
With building owners first in mind, Firestone roof systems are designed with the goal of providing the highest possible performance over the lifetime of the roof. This is why innovation is at the forefront of product development at FSBP. Dr. Amy Randall is the Director of Global Research and Development, leading a team of dedicated scientists and engineers who are constantly working together to uncover new solutions and advancements for Firestone's diverse roofing systems. At Firestone, in our research and development team, we have a great group of talented and knowledgeable scientists and engineers who have created a robust innovation pipeline full of new products and technologies and who work in our state-of-the-art laboratories. Customer needs can be complex. FSBP Innovation is focused on products that improve performance and address market challenges such as labor shortages, condensed timelines, and unpredictable weather patterns. Firestone Full Force EPDM is a new product that we launched and it includes a factory applied adhesive from seam to seam and it uses our trademark secure bond technology and what that does is it allows for an ease of installation on all of the rooftops. FSBP is aware of the need for building owners to meet certain environmental and sustainable requirements in specific markets. They're committed to providing options to their customers that meet these needs and contribute to a building's energy efficiency. In a building, most energy from heating and cooling is actually lost through the roof. So one area that we focus on a lot is green building requirements, specifically lead requirements, vegetative roofing, and also natural light. We are designing our products with resiliency in mind to ensure that we focus on our long-term customer needs and the future trends in our industry, including carbon dioxide reduction, which is an area where some of our products like IsoGuard really help today. Are you ready to head over to one of FSBP's manufacturing facilities in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, and take a closer look at the power behind their impressive roofing systems? The Muscle Shoals plant is one of Firestone's 13 strategically located manufacturing facilities in North America, producing both TPO and EPDM roofing materials. Eric Zimmerman leads Firestone's global manufacturing department, a team of dedicated people producing high quality, durable solutions that customers can rely on. This facility here in Muscle Shoals uh, produces various grades of TPO membrane and that's designed to meet all the architectural requirements and applications that we have. Additionally, this facility uh, is the final step in the manufacturing process for our EPDM full force product line. So this team works very closely with R&D as well as the tech service teams out in the field to make all that innovation a reality. Here on line five, we take TPO compound and turn that into calendared sheets. Uh, these sheets travel through the line meeting uh, various in-process testing and get rolled up at the other end and distributed to all of our uh, contractors and distributors. Here in the quality control testing lab, the technicians ensure that all the products leaving the facility uh, meet rigorous standards. This ensures that the products that we supply meet the high-end performance on which our reputation has been built. Aside from building their products with high quality materials and advanced technology, Firestone also provides its customers with a dedicated team of representatives focused on meeting their needs. An affordable long-term warranty giving you the reassurance that your system will always be covered. So what can we expect from Firestone's roofing systems within the next 40 years? We caught up with the head of FSBP's marketing team to find out. At Firestone, we believe that nobody covers you better. And what that means is we're committed. We're committed to being all in to have a successful roofing experience for every one of you. Not just at the installation period, but also post-installation. What we want to make sure is that we're continuing to partner and collaborate with you. Reach out and have conversations around what is that next in class product? How can we continue to evolve and innovate now and in the future? Interested in learning more about Firestone Building Products Innovative and Sustainable Roofing Systems? Head over to firestonebpco.com.
Thanks for watching this episode of Inside the Blueprint. For more information on anything you saw today or to find out how you can become part of the show, go to InsideTheBlueprint.com.